We were interested in the academy because, well, first of all, we live and work in the academy ourselves, but these issues are especially salient in the academy. In the math-intensive fields like engineering and physics and mathematics, women are in short supply, especially senior women. So it's an extremely interesting and important academic policy manner to discover why. Why aren't there more women, especially senior women? So we began looking at different fields, and the fields differ quite a lot. Some fields of science, like biology, uh, approximately 52% of the PhDs are women. And in our own field of psychology, it's more like 70%. Fields like veterinary medicine, it's more like three quarters. But then there are fields like engineering, where it's more like 16 to 18% and physics, and mathematics, and so on. Actually, mathematics is 29%. So we were interested, well, why the differences? Why aren't there as many women in mathematics as there are in veterinary medicine, for example? And that sort of spawned a whole series of studies that we and others have been doing that we just are intrigued by. If you follow this through to adolescence, girls are more interested in working things out with others, and in helping others, and in being part of groups, Boys are interested in taking things apart, putting them back together, in understanding the workings of machines, and in understanding complex objects. So to some extent, I, I see it as a biological underpinning, and to some extent, I see it as cultural, in the way that we're always reminded that girls from a young age are encouraged to do these things, and boys are encouraged to do the things that boys are better at. But even but before there's a chance to have, to have made those influences in the age of just a few months, babies are already showing the differences. So if you combine both potential innate factors with environmental inputs, which are huge, socialization differences, depending on gender. And then you look at how that all coalesces in adolescence and beyond. The fact that girls are just as good when they're in college, on, on average, at math as boys, and in fact get higher grades than boys, doesn't mean that girls are going to choose to be engineers. They'd rather be veterinarians. They are more oriented around helping animals, children, people. Boys are more interested in things, and mathematical pursuits, especially the math-based sciences, are a better fit.